the map here when it comes to where Meituan Dianping is right now in China. You've expanded well beyond your core business of food delivery and food reviews, but China is still dominated by the likes of tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent. How does a second tier player like Meituan fit in? I think the lucky thing is that the market is still so big and still so early in the online penetration rate. So the service industry we are operating in is still only 5% online penetration rate. Compared to Alibaba's physical e-commerce, now it's only 20% online penetration rate. And we are seeing the trend we are catching up for the service industry that we are operating in. Uh, we have over 290 million annual active consumers that purchase through our platforms and connect to over 4 million active merchants. So this you know, phenomenon uh, numbers really provide strong foundation for platforms like us to continue to uh, uh, provide um, you know, service for the younger generation. Yeah. And uh, it's still so early that uh, we are very excited about this opportunity. You're also exploring into maybe ride sharing as well. There's rumors out there that you're gearing up to compete with DD when it comes to certain cities in China. How big of a business is that for you? Um, so um, still uh, we have oh, uh, uh, 10 or 15 pilot projects including the car hiring business information within the group. So we think it's very important for companies like us as a, you know, a, a disruptive uh, innovator in this space able to still very sensitive to the uh, growing trend of the market and able to uh, making innovations um, on our platform. So we not only transfer the existing business models of our existing categories but continue to see uh, from a consumer perspective what you know, other services so can we add into the platform to increase the stickiness of the consumers and merchants. That's how we think about you know, how we should expand to, into other businesses. Mm. What about when it comes to travel? It seems like that's your next mission right now. You spend hundreds of millions of dollars to become the leading travel site out there. What can you do or what can you bring here to beat out the monopoly that C-Trip has created here after their merger with Shunar? We are very uh, differentiated strategy here. So we are cover about five times bigger consumer base than C Trip, most of uh, whom are uh, uh, leisure business uh, leisure travelers. So compared to business travelers for C Trip, and also we are having a much more a broad offering for these uh, travelers. So when they go out to have fun in entertainments, they can enjoy movie tickets and restaurant business from us, but also the hotel and travel business that we are able to offering that can really close the kind of life cycle of the consumers. Priceline, one of your backers as well. What, what kind of opportunities are there to collaborate? So China stands for their incremental business for the whole global travel business. And Meituan Dianping actually bring the most valuable incremental consumer base on for China business. So mm. it's actually a very natural partnership for both parties. Uh, the competition, I guess, for food delivery, Xiao Hui, has been quite fierce. I mean, globally, it really hasn't been profitable. How do you build a viable business like food delivery right now? Is it just time to bury the hatchet and maybe merge with Alibaba's Oloma? So we have already 60% market share today and still growing our market share, you know, month by month. And the main reason is still stick to our platform strategy because consumers come to our platform not just for food delivery. They can come for restaurants, for movie tickets or all, all other local services. And when they uh, cross purchase in other categories, they actually become more stickier on our platform compared to vertical players. So that's the, really the power of the platform we are building. How did you beat out the likes of Baidu, why am I? I mean, given the fact that Baidu has a much bigger cast position than you and they also have the strength when it comes to AI. I think this is the beauty of the innovation. The young and you know, new generation of the company really understand the new business model and invest more heavily and more focus on building the DNA that really fits into the online plus offline models. You know, that's uh, somewhat different from traditional Baidu's uh, you know, purely online um, uh, technology. Yeah. And we have you know, the people running across the whole country that serve their merchants and consumers. Today we have over 2 million active riders each day to help us deliver those orders. Yeah. Okay. Uh, payments this was my next move uh, question here. Tencent, Alibaba, they all have good payments networks. Are you in the market to buy? Uh, we not really in the payment market, but payment is a very important st step of our closed loop transaction. I mean, you have a vast trove of customer data. We work actually with uh, Tencent and all the other third party uh, payment uh, solutions because consumers, they come to us for transactions and payment is just the last step that we're trying to fulfill. So we have our own payment solutions, but we still very open uh, strategy with other third party players.
Uh, in January, we actually heard from the government as well. I mean, there seems to be a little bit more scrutiny. They're starting to start cracking down on some of these internet platforms when it comes to fake reviews, artificial sales. Is Meituan concerned about this right now? And what's the strategy to fix it? So cloud centric is always a number one priority. So we'll make sure the quality and the content is really getting to the standard that we are emphasizing. So we have invested heavily into build both on the technology side and on the offline side to uh, continue to optimize the content. Uh, last question here, IPO plans, we have to ask you, should we expect an IPO soon? IPO um, is more a natural result of the business growth, so we don't have a timetable, but we are uh, actually managing the company more like a you know, public company because we have a big uh, portion of public shareholders as well. They, they come from come for us for you know, a very um, long-term uh, growth. Early 2018, some are saying? Uh, no timetable for now, but we will continue to work hard to achieve that.